I'm here at Lawrence Weston Community Farm where I'll be experiencing firsthand what it's like to be a volunteer. Hello Karen, thank you for having me at Lawrence Weston Farm today. Run me through a typical day at the farm. Wow, uh, okay so the farm opens at nine o'clock in the morning okay. and that's when our volunteers turn up. So we have a whole range of volunteers who come and help us run the farm every day, anywhere between two and ten. And they're mostly local people, some people who want to learn new skills, maybe unemployed, maybe recovering, um, students from colleges. So what would you say is your favourite thing about um, being part of this community farm. It's working with children and young people on the farm, uh, again directly from the local community and they get so much out of being here and learning to look after the animals, learning to look after the woodland, um, working together, taking on responsibility. It's yeah, fantastic. It really brings it. Yeah, it's a real social centre the farm. Yeah. People who visit often tell us how safe they feel here and how safe they feel with their children, so that's really important. And also it provides somewhere that um, particularly local people can learn new skills, you yeah. know, either through volunteering or training courses or yeah, taking part in one of the projects we do mm -hmm. or one of the family holiday activities. So it's somewhere for learning. So the time has come for me to experience the farm firsthand. I'm off to be a volunteer for the day. For my first activity, I will be working with James here. Hello, should we get started? Absolutely. Not all of them are fertile, I believe. No, they're not. Um, we the have to have a male, which we don't currently, in our children oh, run. Uh, and then we just let them um, yeah. sit on the eggs. How long do volunteers um, in general stay here and help out? I guess it varies. It varies hugely based on what they're doing. Like I was a volunteer here before I became a member of staff. I was here for two and a half years. Oh, right. right. Um, and that was through unemployment into employment. The farm's produce helps it get involved with the local community. I'm here with Pete, one of the longest standing volunteers, who's going to show me how the food and the farm system works. How long have you been here, Pete? been 14 years down yeah. here. Oh wow, 14 yeah. years is a long time. Yeah, long time, uh, yes. Yeah. And you love it as much yeah, as you did? Yeah, I've been down here, yes. They don't, want, they don't want to get rid of me. <laughs> no, he wants to keep me that. <laughs> Won't let you go? No. Nope. Could you show me um, what you've got on sale? On there. I think that's over there. Squash. That's it. Ah, oh, fantastic. And these are um, grown in the greenhouse? Uh, no, 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 about where it was. Your vegetable pack. Yeah, that's right in the back of there it is. Yeah. All oh, right, so the squash. The squash. Like vegetables. <laughs> when well, you see that there, you see down here. Hmm. Yeah. Thanks to the lottery fund, soon there will be a brand new cafe to provide the community with a social space where people can take courses and develop catering skills. Currently, people can learn a range of skills, including animal husbandry, which leads me to my next task. So, Lauren, what does your volunteering role involve? Uh, well, we get here in the morning, um, put all the animals out so they can have a bit of time. You know, mo mostly they're locked in sort of quite right. smallish sheds, um, but then they can come out and have their like outdoor pens. Um, we feed them um, and then muck out. Um, and I mean, then it's just sort of general jobs around the farm until we put them away again in the evening. It's just, you know, fixing fences. Mm. Beth, what do you feel you've um, earned from working at the farm? Well, I've definitely gained some lifelong friends here. I, I know I can trust the people I work with, and I feel like I've really bonded with some of the people and the animals here. Shall we get started? Yep. So there's a bit of a knack to this, because the little black one is, um, she's the subordinate of them, so they don't let her eat a lot of the time. Right, um, okay. So we've got this little bit of extra food to like keep her going. They all look pretty big to so me. You have to pass so him as her the, secret stash. Oh well, yes, kind of. Uh, we've got to get the brown one and the grey one out and keep the black one in. They sort of know what they're doing. Right, OK. She says. Although the weather has taken a turn for the worse, things are looking bright for the future of the farm. Certainly from my experience here today, I can see why the farm is so valuable to the volunteers and the local community.